Good day, good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another podcast. I still don't know the name. We still don't know the name of the podcast. We still don't have a name. We still don't have a name. (laughs) We've got ATG over there. I don't know where I'm going to be in the end of the video, so ATG over there. Uh, (laughs) How are you doing, man? I'm wonderful, uh, Mr. Zephyr. I'm a bit uh, tired. How about you, brother? How are you? More tired, dude. (laughs) I am so freaking tired. Um, we've shifted this to a morning recording. To a morning recording. Yeah. So, like last night, I ended my stream. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna play a few more games of something else, and I'm like, oh no, wait, I've got a, mm. I've got a <laughs> podcast tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but uh, other than that, that's that's my own fault. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. my own fault. That, we, same we here, brother. Same here. I yeah. Also, I, 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 I can't. Started. I can't be like. I can't be like. I'm busy with work. It's like, nah. I, t- I when I when I finish streaming, <laughs> yeah. When I finish streaming, I'm like, let's play a game. <laughs> yes. I'm also like that, dude. After my streams, I'm like, anybody still awake? Want to play some Call of Duty or whatever? Mm, yeah. You know, it's the same, dude. It's the same. So how was your week, yeah. man? How was your week? It's been good. Um, had. Had a lacquer Windows update uh, on Tuesday, mm-hmm. which took two and a half hours. Jeez, man. Yeah, Jeez. so I didn't stream on Tuesday. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, yeah, we basically, I basically, Monday I did GTA RP. Mm-hmm. Wednesday I did, oh, Monday I did GTA RP and then um, GTA kicked me out and I played Weed Shop. Weed shop oh, three. Do you run a weed shop? In, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. And man. then uh, Tuesday I didn't stream. Wednesday I didn't stream. I took the day off. Mm-hmm. And last night I did some decent GTA RP. Young Africa has got the car now and the gun. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also and I, you... I checked it out, man. I also wanted to to start getting into that. It looks super fun. So my week I started Monday. Now I gotta think. I gotta think now. Monday and Tuesday I streamed. I streamed both days, um, and I finished Wolfenstein actually. So how it, how I used to stream is I used to do Monday, Tuesday Wolfenstein, and then Thursday I used to do Card Door, some odd game, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. just to change up the stuff a little bit. Um, yeah, and then I actually finished the the Wolfenstein game on Tuesday, and uh, I was supposed to do Cod yesterday. But then I had like a poll on my Facebook page and asked people what should I do next and Far Cry 3 won by unanimous decision. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. I was super excited to start playing this game again. So I installed it, uh, or bought it, installed it and uh, got ready to stream last night and uh, everything just bugged out. And everybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge game lover and I love uh, technology and whatever, but I don't know shit about it. (laughs) I don't know anything about technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. software wise so whenever something happens or something is laggy i never know what to do so luckily one of the viewers sorted me out we got it sorted and uh man like before i knew it because i usually stream like two hours two and a half hours um, yeah and before i knew it like i'm what time is up already dude that game just sucked me in and i cannot wait for my next stream dude far cry 3 is what it's mind blowing mm, mm. i want to i want to i want to give you a little bit of um, um zephyr yeah. advice try and push that two two and a half hours to about three. Two and a half hours to about three yeah. yeah because usually most of your viewer base comes in around the hour mark so if they've got an hour left they're probably going to leave immediately yeah, so yeah, just yeah. push it to like three hours if you can three hours just to give them a bit more and it's more content at the end of the day definitely um definitely but um yeah so what do you think of uh voss in far cry 3 dude i actually the store my story with far cry free a three free free far cry free far Far cry Cry free free. where do we get a free far cry (laughs) anyway uh, my story with far cry 3 was um me and a buddy of mine it's actually funny because he he actually can't say the TH sound. So he would now say Far Cry Free, right? Yeah. So me and him got the game and uh, it was a South African version of the game, like you say. Oh, and yeah, the we, South African version, yeah. And we sat down one night and we were like, he came from work. He was a waiter at that time and I didn't work. So I told him, listen, 
I have half a bottle of brandy and a three-quarter bottle of whiskey. Come over after work. We sit down, just have a like, chilled game night, right? Mm -hmm. So he came over after work, but we weren't really gamers that time. We weren't really like gaming a lot that time. But I had quite an okay -ish PC that could run Far Cry. So I popped the game yeah. in, installed it, and he came over, had a few dopper, and before we knew it, like we were at the end of Far Cry 3, like in one, in one go. We just started and we pushed it. But mm -hmm. then it was like the next day, the evening already. And we, like we played literally for like 24 hours straight, dude. He, I remember him phoning his mom like, um, please, can you bring us something to eat? Because we were like super poor that time. We didn't have no yeah. food. We, you know how it works, dude. You always have yeah, alcohol. Yeah, students. You have yeah. alcohol, but you don't have food, right? Yeah, yeah, so, it's students, yeah. Yes, yeah, so his mom came over. I can't even remember what was on the on the sandwiches, man. But she brought us sandwiches, and they were super fucking delicious. I don't know what was on it. And then, yeah, when we finished Far Cry 3 in one go. So for me to, to play that game again just makes me think of that evening, dude. And that was like mm, one mm. of the coolest things ever, dude. Yeah, so, no, yeah, Michael... Man, Michael Mando, the actor that Voss is based on, and yeah, the voice yeah. actor. Mm. Dude, the moment you've played Far Cry 3, if you see him in a TV series or a movie, you're like, oh, Voss. Yeah, yeah. You beautiful bastard. Yes, yeah. Dude, that that yeah. whole character, I think they did a great job with Voss, dude. That mm, was like, mm. and all the Far Cry uh, franchises are cool to me. I enjoy all of them. But. That character specifically, because everybody told me, like, I want to do all the Far Cry's now. I want to go through, like, streams where I stream all of them. And mm -hmm. to just, like, take you through the complete experience of Far Cry. But I wanted to start with Far Cry free, uh, 3. Almost said free. Mm -hmm. I wanted to free, start with yeah. them. Because that one is, like, you know, that's, that's like, my, my jam, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, and also a South African, South, South, South African, South, South. African band. Is in Far Cry 3, Yes, eh? dude. I'm, yeah. That's what I want to ask you. You think they're going to flag me for that on my streams? I think they might on mm, YouTube, right? Especially mm, on YouTube, dude. Not really. YouTube might have some issues. But if you're clever about it, you can just like... I think it's just a cutscene, isn't it? Mm, it's a it, cut doesn't, it doesn't continuously the play. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't continuously play. If it happens, then fuck it. You just delete that section and that's you it. Mute it, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe it's most. Is it is it babies on fire? Um, yeah, babies on fire. But there's a few. There's that. All I wanna do is, you know, that song that plays in there. Yeah. And there's a shitload of uh, famous artists that play in that game. Oh, but that all I wanna do is the, in the intro. So if you didn't yeah. get any last night, then you should be fine. I should actually check, dude. That's a good. Point. You should actually check. Yeah, That's you should actually point. check. That's a good point. Yeah. No, Far Cry Three was the first and only Far Cry I finished okay. on stream. Yeah. Yeah. Because I did that whole thing of like, I'm going to do everything. Mm -hmm. And after the seventh tower, eighth tower, I had to climb. I'm like, you know what? I'm high enough level. Let's just continue on with the game. With the game. So yeah. I like skipped half of the towers. and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I skipped like 30% of the towers yeah, on my yeah. playthrough. Yeah. And then when people said, congratulations, you've got the Far Cry experience. This is what you do in every Far Cry game. I'm like, ah. Not going to look at Far Cry again. again yeah. <laughs> I yeah. have to say, dude, like, it's actually true what you're saying. There are bits repetitive here and there when it comes to, to gameplay and the way things work to unlock mm -hmm. the map and whatever. I like it, dude. I don't know. Tastes differ, right? Yeah, but no. I, for I, me, I for me, it's it, like... It's, it is a bit repetitive, and come to think of it now. But to me, like, the... the Visuals are beautiful in Far Cry, dude. So I love to yeah. like, stand on a mountain top and just look at the water, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite cool, man. But so, yeah, that is my, yeah, that's your Far Cry thing. So your week was basically Wolfenstein and Far Cry. Yeah, dude, that's about it. I played okay, a little of COD, uh, COD mm -hmm. offline, offline, off stream. But uh, yeah, on stream, can I, Wolfenstein and Far Cry. Can I, can I quickly, I want to cock you out. Mm. And I want to cock Amptek out. Yeah. Yeah. They're having a get together tonight, isn't it? That's correct. <laughs> Amp In play, fucking exactly. Cape Town. Yeah. Amp to play, yeah. <laughs> In fucking Cape Town of all places. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, if I had the money and I could get a fucking plane ticket, yeah, yeah. I would be I would be there. Yeah, I'm man. like, ah oh, man, that would be so cool. I'm yeah. so freak I'm not cucking you out. I'm just I'm just angry and I'm yeah. jealous because I'm jealous. Dude, I cannot uh, even make it. You know how pissed off I am because I'm 
they they're doing it tonight. I'm finishing work at seven seven thirty tonight, yeah. and I'm starting work again at four a.m. tomorrow morning. So it's, oh, yeah. it's just fucking impossible for me to go because I'm that kind of guy. If I get there. In Afrikaans, they say the hak <laughs> You understand? Yeah, yeah. Like a hak fuss. <laughs> I'll fucking <laughs> yeah. end up slingering in here at 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. You get what I'm saying, dude? Drink, drink seven cups of coffee <laughs> trying to get ready for work. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's me in a nutshell. So I'm just going to mm. rather play it safe and not yeah. attend this. But yeah, man, it's, I think it's going to be super cool. I've, Amp always loves to bring the community together. Mm. It's on mm. Discord, but... He really loves bringing them together in real life. You, you know, you know, I'd like, I, I like that. Let me, let me, let me. Okay, we've got. Okay, just by the way, uh, dear audience, we've actually got a topic to talk about. What we're, yeah. we're not on topic <laughs> yet. Um, but here's the thing, right? Now, aside from Cape Town, Cape Town, it's a little bit expensive. But do you know how awesome the geographic location of my hometown is? It's in the middle of the country. Mm, mm, mm. It's cheap. It's cheap as all hell. Yeah, yeah. But no events get ever organized here or gaming events or meetups or whatever. I mean, yeah, sure. It's 10 hours from Cape Town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, five, six hours, Joburg, Pretoria, wherever. Yeah, yeah. So it's generally like five to 10 hours from wherever in South Africa. Yeah. But the amount of, even if you spend like, petrol money to get here mm, right mm, mm. it is so freaking cheap to be here it's 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 literally like your your it's gonna be like if you're flying from cape town to joburg or going from cape town to joburg for rage yeah, yeah. you're basically gonna spend less to be in bloom Dude, you know I what i mean bloomies. I love Bloom. You're, you're gonna spend less to yeah. be in bloom yeah, if yeah. there ever is anyone out there anyone out there wanting to create a gaming event or whatever think of bloom are there a I lot mean, of gamers in bloom zephyr there 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 are but the big thing is a lot of our gamers are from the countryside ah, from the platteland you I know see, I see. and the big thing is also like for example let me let me tell you this thing <clears throat> so i go to my first ever rage and i'm looking at places to stay Mm. Now, before I check prices or whatever, I've got, you know, you've got that thing in your mind like, okay, I'm looking at, aim, I'm aiming at spending this much per mm. night mm. on a stay. I'm sitting there going, okay, cool. I'm not going to go above 500 in Joburg, mm. 500 rand a, a night mm -hmm. in Joburg. Cheapest I could find was 800. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the hell? Here in Bloom, you get a place to stay for like 250 a night, and then it's expensive, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it's expensive. And I'm sitting here you going... Chocolates on the pillow and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm sitting here going, but why don't they create something like... Like, why don't they do... Like, we don't have the... We, we can organize the space. We don't have the big centers like Joburg or Cape Town yeah, has, yeah. but... But we can organize can space. Plan, There's yeah. an entire university ground that can be converted yeah, yeah. into place. There's even a showgrounds area where you've got like six or seven halls that you yeah. can use just for gaming stuff. Yeah, uh, it's not going to be these big fucking stands because, you know, Bloemfontein. Yeah, yeah. But you can do that. And even if you, if, you, if you want the big fucking stands, you go to the university, yeah. book out four of their buildings right next to each other. So you've got four different buildings that you yeah. can go to yeah, yeah, yeah. for these events. And 90% of the guest houses, if people need to stay over, is within walking distance, distance. of the fucking university. Yeah, man. You know, you, don't, you park your car there and you walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's but crazy. yeah, no, nobody, nobody wants to do it in bloom, yeah. Yeah, but look, Cape Town is insane. Cape wait, Town wait, has a on. shitload of events, yeah? Just, just hold on. Yeah. I'm to play. Uh, Take notice. Okay, continue, yeah? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just telling them about Bloom. I'm just telling them about yeah, Bloom. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Uh, we, uh, in Cape Town, it's insane, dude. Like, the, the fucking 800 rand, you're like, all right, you can sleep in the back of my fola if you want to. Yeah. Like, it's insanely expensive. Yeah, dude. dude I mean, like but I we said. We have so it's, many events here. It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. I mean, in Bloemfontein, uh, a meal, a friend of mine came down from Joburg. So we had a meal. 
and he's like stadium he's gonna he's gonna cover it like we had a meal at a restaurant mm -hmm. right like a really upper class Bura oh restaurant. i thought it was stadium Those, i love stadium no takeaways. no 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 <laughs> this is an upper class Bura restaurant yeah yeah you know? uh -huh. um the only restaurant in bloemfontein that sells fuck of lager because of me oh really i nice. basically went to them and said you're gonna get fuck of lager or not oh fuck <laughs> There yeah, goes yeah. my alarm. I need to wake up. <laughs> uh, you're going to sell fuck of lager or I'm not going to be here. And they're like, ah, uh, how much can you really drink? And I'm like, I'll show you how much I can really drink. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this will be the last time until you get fuck of lager. Yeah, yeah. And then about a month later, they got fuck of lager. But anyway, this this Bura restaurant, this farmer is like an upper class. Mm -hmm. Really, you walk in there and you feel out of place if you walk in there with um, flip-flops and whatnot. You know, yeah, you need yeah, to yeah. kind of be properly dressed. So this friend of mine from Joburg is like, okay, cool. He's got the bill. And I'm like, okay, dude, it's, it's cool. You can pay. Mm. And he gets the bill and he looks at it and he calls the waitress over and he's like, listen, is everything on the bill that we <laughs> had here? Yeah. And she's like, yeah. And the bill worked out to about 600 rand in total for the both of us. Yes. Remember a full meal. And at least each of us had like between eight and 12 drinks. Jeez, right man 600 grand and we drank expensively that yeah, night yeah 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 and like he's like just for the meal alone we'd paid like 400 grand and and joburg for that type of meal and i'm yeah, like yeah yeah welcome to bloom buddy it's crazy <laughs> dude cape town is like we went uh we had people actually coming from bloom side to cape town mm -hmm. it's uh, a friend of mine he actually uh stays in Jan kemp um but mm -hmm. they went through bloom they go to bloom a lot um and uh, they came over here, and there's a place here in Cape Town, uh, I'm not going to say the name, but uh, we went there, had a few, but it's like also a very upper class place, it's in uh, Clifton area. And mm -hmm. uh, we went there, had a sit down, had a few drinks, had some starters, had a few mains, and uh, the bull came and bam, they hit you with eight grand, dude, in the face for five Je people. Five mm. people, eight thousand one night, I wasn't even drunk, I had like two, two drinks, dude. It's dude, crazy. I mean if you spend a thousand rand in bloom on a night and i mean mm. you're eating and drinking mm. you're gonna hack, like you said yeah, you're, gonna you know, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna struggle to get that yeah yeah if you're drinking alone if you're only buying for yourself if you're buying for a friend you'll have to phone a third guy to come pick you guys up and yeah, get you yeah. home because you'll be too drunk to drive yeah, on yeah. a thousand rand in bloom yo that's crazy dude that's really, yeah. really crazy. Sweet. So, yeah, so please we... make make events in bloom. There we yeah. go. <laughs> what are we talking <laughs> about today, Mrs. Zephyr? We talked to her, we agreed on talking about our streaming gear, dude. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. so, but now, uh, just, a, just a caveat mm -hmm. streaming gear does not the streamer make. Yeah, most definitely. That's a, that's and a, that's a big thing. One of the thing. things that I want to, to highlight in, in mm. when I present my streaming gear because. Uh, I have quite a budget-friendly setup, dude. You know, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, I, I also wanted to say that it, it doesn't doesn't matter what you have, or it's important though. I mean, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna struggle less with certain things to get mm. your your shit to good to look good. But uh, yeah, man, you can have the best camera and mic in the world, dude. You can still look shitty. <laughs> you can still look shitty, yeah. Yeah. Um. So let's start off with uh, the most obvious thing the green screen uh -huh. yeah man. yeah so a lot of people are like green screen or no green screen you know what it's personal taste definitely i agree i'm not going to show you what's behind my green screen mm. because there's boxes there's yeah. a couch yeah, yeah. there's four three bookshelves mm. and then boxes yeah yeah you know yes that's yes. why i've got the green screen if i had those bookshelves and i had geeky stuff i would take off the green take screen off the green screen yeah but no yeah yeah this green screen cost me now i'm gonna back in that day back in the day when i got the green screen mm. it cost me just under 300 rand Jeez, that's cheap dude right and for americans back in the day this was like four years ago mm. that would be like 28 ish dollars mm. It's mm -hmm. basically green material. Mm. I've already had the speaker stands for like 20, 30, I say 20, 30 years, for like 15 years. Yeah, yeah. And clothespins. And I just put like a little 
okay, maybe maybe like thirty one dollars, like three hundred and <laughs> three hundred and fifty, because I had to buy the pole that yeah, rests yeah. on the speaker on stands, the speaker stands yeah. and then the clothespins. Like yeah, literally, yeah. look, dude, that's there's great. the clothespins you like right me, there, dude. You like me? Make it work. <laughs> Make it work. Yeah, yeah man. So yeah. I I am super super fortunate to to have a a sponsor like you know Amptech uh, they sponsor me mm -hmm. they actually we had a 24 hour uh, stream for cancer and uh, they said like they their streamer needs to look good and then they sponsored me the Elgato Corsair uh, green screen so it's actually like yeah. a, a solid nice uh, it's the proper green it's color proper, yeah it's the proper green color as well as like it's a high quality one like it's super expensive. i mean that's what that's three thousand two hundred yeah, rand three thousand two hundred on their website yeah so so it's mm. i got quite that's the most expensive beside my pc of course but that's the most expensive um item that i added to my streaming that i didn't pay yeah for it but i would personally say i like it um it looks cool to me if you're streaming uh in the corner yeah, with you, just you, yeah. nothing behind you, and you have your whole screen filled with gameplay. I like that mm. vibe. It really looks nice to me. Um, but like you say, it's personal taste. I've, when yeah. I started out, I actually checked out my first stream. I got a memory of that on Facebook the other day. I'm like, yes. When I started out, because I'm a graphic designer, when I started out, I pulled out all my skills into one overlay, dude. It yeah. looked like... Fucking Paris Hilton just entered the building with all the pizzazz going on there. So yeah, I tried yeah, yeah. everything I could. But now I go for simplicity. So I mm. like the whole vibe with just me here in the corner, no background, just gameplay. So that's personal taste, like Mrs. Zephyr said. But uh, yeah, man, green screen to me is a is a is a definitely a, a yes in my books. And like he said, you can even just take a piece of material, dude, and just make it work. Yeah. yeah I mean, the big thing, the big thing with the green screen is if you want to, like, I want to have a setup eventually in such a way that if I want to show off my geeky stuff, yeah, I'll have no green screen. Yeah. 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 And if I don't want to show it off, I'll just pull the green screen down. Yeah. 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 Luckily, luckily Nvidia, are streamer saviors now at the moment mm -hmm. with nvidia broadcast my lights died a couple of weeks ago so i used nvidia broadcasts as a green screen or background removal yeah, yeah yeah and it was it was better than my green screen oh really the only problem is this part of the mic kept fading in and out oh i see i see because the ai because i'm talking to this so they're trying to focus on my face on so every face, time i yeah. move into the mic yeah, yeah, yeah. this area starts flickering i see but if i sit here and talk you will just see this part of the mic the uh the condom part the head <laughs> <laughs> the head <laughs> yeah the head. <laughs> um so even even if you're looking into it like if you've got a card that can do nvidia broadcast yeah just fucking use it and that's just probably going to be my answer to most of the streamer stuff mm, mm. Uh, is using video broadcast you know yeah 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 man yeah. i'm i'm also like i'm gonna jump ahead but i also like to make a plan with what i got so when mm. i started out streaming i used what i had like this was gifted to me and i'm super grateful mm -hmm. for that but like if Probably now I would have bought it because I'm streaming a bit more serious. But if they didn't gift it to me, like I would probably not even have it today. But yeah. it's really cool to have once you once you actually see the benefits that it has with for having a green screen, uh, mm. even for making after stream content and stuff like that. Then then it's really cool. So I would yeah I would advise someone that has a creative mind for making content to get yourself a green screen. You don't have to go and buy the uh, flipping Corsair one. You can use yeah. a green green sheet towel if you want to, dude. Yeah, anything. Just green. make sure. Just make sure it's not neon. Yeah, neon yeah, green. Yeah. Not neon because green. Because neon green contains yellow, yeah, and you don't yeah, want yeah. yellow in your yeah. background. You want as green as possible. Green as possible. You're looking for like apple green on yeah. average. Yeah, yeah. If you're yeah. wanting to paint your walls apple green, that's yeah. the color you're gonna go yeah. for. Um, yeah, that's also an option. You can paint your wall, man. Yeah, yeah, about that. yeah, yeah. And awesome, uh, oh, my stuff was also sponsored by my lovely community. Oh, nice! Everything that I have, yeah, yeah, for my setup was done through my community. Yo, dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. 
that's really cool awesome brother so uh yeah, yeah what's up next on your stream um, i'd list? say i'd say next we we have to go webcams uh-huh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah what's what what's your webcam thing dude last night i also had a pronunciation issue on my stream but this i don't know how to pronounce this a u s d o m osdom it sounds like osdom yeah osdom osdom i have an osdom webcam it's uh that's about it that i know about it it's also quite cheap i bought it this i bought for about uh 699 mm -hmm. but it is an hd cam and it is quite good as you can see like the quality is not you can once you start mingling a bit with your settings on obs you can get the quality quite good yeah but one thing i don't like about it is it doesn't focus really well if you like it can't really focus on something if you mm. see what i mean that's the one yeah. thing that i don't really like about it because a lot of times you want to show someone something but then it doesn't focus um yeah yeah but all in all it's it's a good camera uh 6.99 more or less and um yeah i would say um this is one of the two things that i make priority when when one to be a streamer is mm. visual uh video on you because that's why they're there yeah. for you so that's one of my personal based on personal opinion your webcam to me is super important you have, you have to yeah. have a, at least a, a okayish webcam to like if you have a pimple you must be able to see it <laughs> right yeah so, yeah. So that's, the, yeah that's that's where i differ again but we'll get there eventually yeah yeah, yeah. um oh so it's an awesome whatever camera awesome <laughs> It's awesome yeah. and it's an awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what the code is, dude. <laughs> yeah, just a just a quick thing. You might need to edit this out. Your volume got fucking loud right now. My volume. Like your your volume increased, yeah. Yeah, huh? you I I I just cock hard geraak nou. Jy was skielik. Still now, is it still loud? It, I don't know, maybe. Is it? On yeah. my screen it Like in the, in the, in the, in the, in the like for hierdie tyd yeah. het ons fucking as jy awesome gehaal het het jy nie gehoor nie nou hoor ek jou awesome haling oor gebruik jy die mic ah uh ah -uh. nee ek gebruik die mic ok fucking skyf hy ding op die ding skyf nee skyf die ding op die ding want jy al awesome nom en hy tel hom op ja ok is dit nou beter oe jyre dude dis jou mic die die jy gebruik nie jou mic voor jou nie ja nee man yeah, prod. Hello. Hello. Yes, D. Nee. Nee. Schrijf je mic terug. Prod. Schrijf hem terug. Hello. Hello. Die jij gebruikt die mic. Ja, maar jij hoor maar hier is Zoom mic, hier is OBS. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so Shit, sorry. Okay, OBS. cool. Nee, nee, it's cool. Don't stress. Okay, cool. So, we're going to be on. Sorry for that interruption. Uh, <laughs> I just picked up on something and we figured it out. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. So, this is my third uh, camera. Okay. Yeah. Um, I bought my first ever, and we're going to get to the mic setups and everything, but mm. my first ever, my started starting setup, I bought in South Korea on their version of Amazon called g market oh, okay. and g mart g market i don't know but something like that i can't remember like g something yeah. and they had a samson s-a-m-s-o-n c-o-1-u podcast pack and um i th that was <clears throat> about a hundred and ten dollars back in the day no that's not bad and that was basically a usb mic pop filter it did its thing yeah yeah yeah. you put it on the corner there it's out of screen it picks you up it does its thing does yeah, its yeah. thing and then i bought myself a logitech c920 mm -mm -mm. camera uh for about 120 dollars back then yeah so it was about 250 ish in total mm -mm -mm. for the entire thing and um after that i got a two logitech c922s oh, one wow. was for my dog back in the day 
Excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. One was for my dog back in the day. So I had a camera focused on him and then okay. a camera focused on me. Okay. And then um, <clears throat> why do I have three cameras? <laughs> Hold up, I'm going to tell you now, yeah. because uh, another streamer friend of mine is using one, my dad is using the other, and I'm using this one. Uh, the C920 is for my dad, the C9, first C922 mm. that I got, is, I gave to my friend. Um, oh, oh, okay. Um, I borrowed my one C922 to mm -hmm. a friend of mine yeah yeah and he never returned it but he bought me another one <laughs> ah i see okay. so i was like yeah somewhere there i got an extra, got camera. An extra camera that's basically it Sweet, yeah man. Mm -hmm. yeah and uh the visuals the camera visuals ain't that important but we'll get to that later yeah, yeah. and i'll tell you why yeah okay, cool. i just yeah. i just uh, that's based on personal taste right so yeah yeah we're yeah. gonna, we're gonna <clears> differ <throat> guys regarding that it's not we're not gonna fight you want to go you want to go? <laughs> We're not gonna I'm not going to. You, you can fly to Bloemfontein and we can go then. <laughs> At least the, the, the accommodation is cheap, right? Then we can. At least the accommodation is cheap. The event will be cheap. <laughs> yeah, and it's and it's 45 minutes of flight. So it's, yeah, yeah. No, it's an hour of flight. So it's okay. Yeah, it's quick, 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 quick. No jet <laughs> yeah. lag. Yeah, yeah. Man, so uh, next up on my list, uh, I'm going to talk about my microphone. That's why we took mm -hmm. a break because my, my Zoom meeting is on this one and the podcast is on this one so mrs yeah. zephyr's hearing me quite loud and you guys are not hearing me loud but anyway so uh, i have a boya i can see that tag um bymm1 <laughs> boya bymm1 mm -hmm. which is not a bad mic um the reason why i went with this one i started out streaming i had the boya lav mic which looks like this dude. and you're not gonna believe me if i plug this thing in zephyr and to all the listeners, if I plug this thing in, it's cr this is what it looks like, dude. It's literally this is the mic. Yeah. If I plug this thing in, I sound like a Hollywood movie star. That that the quality on the Boya Lav mic is crazy good, dude. It's insane, mm -hmm. insane the quality that you get through that, and it's like a hundred and seventy bucks, man. So for can all, you, yeah. Can you plug it into your phone? Yes, it plugs into your phone. Works on your phone. It works on, it's plug and play on the PC. It works in a camera. Dude, I promise you if, you, if you're looking for a really good mic and you're starting out streaming on a budget, go for the Boya Lavalier. It's Boya Lavalier. It's yeah. crazy, dude. It Actually, I lost my little noise reduction sponge. It comes with a little noise reduction sponge. The quality on that thing is ridiculous, dude. And it's like literally okay. 170 bucks. So if you're starting out streaming and you're looking for excellent sound quality, like top of the range sound quality, mm -hmm. the Boya Lab mic. Again, personal opinion, but you're going to come back to me and tell me you were right. Because that mic is crazy, dude. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. And plus you get like a fucking 40 meter. 70 meter, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can literally go visit the neighbors and still talk to your viewers, dude. That's how long yeah. this cable is. It's crazy long, yeah. That's fucking cool, man. That's yeah. fucking cool. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, my current mic setup is the Rode NT1A, I see you otherwise known a... as the world's quietest mic. You have quite a big one there. <laughs> yeah, the mic, the gain on this mic is about a quarter up. Yeah, yeah. Now, what happens is if I bring it down, I don't know if you can still hear me. I do still hear you, and the quality is excellent. Yeah, the quality is excellent. This is with the gain down, all the way like down, all the way to zero, all the way to zero. Yeah, this Jeez, is its man. like default thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only reason, okay, I'm gonna have to move away. Uh, the only reason why I put the gain up like a quarter is so that I can hear myself while talking. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear myself because if I hear myself and I hear the game sound, I'll roughly know how loud I am. How loud you are, yes. So if the game sound is really loud and I check on OBS and it's like, oh crap, it's really loud, I'll bring it down in game until my voice is a little bit louder than it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, not everyone needs to have the setup. I mean, 
this is a, an XLR mic plugged into a mixer, mm. and it is fucking expensive. I can, fucking dude, it looks expensive. expensive. Yeah, it looks expensive. And, <laughs> yeah, so it's it's like it's like you don't have to go for that. You can go for a lavalier mic, like mm. he said, mm. or the Samson CO1U podcast mic. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you want an example, I'm gonna plug a friend of mine, a streamer friend, Azenko A Z J E N C O mm. on Twitch. He's using my first ever mic that I bought for streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his mic is literally next to his computer screen. And, and you hear him fine. clearly. Yeah. Like, yes, it does pick up the cat's meowing and everything. Yeah, but yeah, it yeah. is, One thing it is I a have decent to say enough quality. Yeah. Yeah, about this specific, because this is also a boya. But this boya is like, the moment you move away from it, it doesn't pick you up anymore. Like, hello, 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 hello. You get it? Like, now you can, you still, oh, but you, you can't. Because you hearing me through I this, hear like, you. <laughs> I hear you so, through that, so yeah. He's like, huh? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> but it does. Like, once you move away, it, mm. it doesn't pick you up that much. So, and that's a good thing, right? Because it's quite yeah. noise reducted. But the thing is, like, even if I go like, oh, I just want to quickly hear what you guys are saying. Just when I read the viewer chat, like, when I go to about here. Dude, it's, a, it's, it's literally the same. Now, listen to this, okay? Uh, the default setting of the mic. Mm. Okay, this is it's on its lowest gain. Yeah. Now the moment I look away. Ah, uh, I see what you mean. You see? Yeah, yeah. You see? So this I mic is I saw also we, we have very the same, sensitive. We have the same like, uh, what do you call it, moves in stream. Because I also saw when you talk to the viewers and you kind of like move towards your mic. Yeah. And yeah. I also do like, that because I want to see I've that got, game got, pick up there. Yeah, I've got the, I've got the, I've moved my chat over to that screen. Yeah, yeah. So that I can look at the mic while talking to chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also did the same. Because when it was over there, I went like, hello, hello, hello. Oh, I can yeah. see you there now. And yeah. Now I'm like, just like, hey, I see you there. And I'm looking at the mic while talking to you. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Call me weird, but imagine your chat was down here, dude, and you had to go like this. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the big the thing, the big. <laughs> <laughs> the the big thing for me personally and if you think about it um i think sound is more important than visuals especially with when it comes to cameras mm -hmm. okay um because 90 percent of twitch viewers and i'm one of them does something else while someone is streaming mm. Uh, my one friend, uh, my good friend Solden, mm -hmm. um, also another streamer in South Africa, he literally uh, said the one night, thank you for being my audiobook while I was playing another game. Oh, awesome. He said it to another streamer. It's like, yeah, thank yeah, you for yeah. being... And that is essentially it. If your sound is shit, most likely, and you can you can look at anything, like look at radios, you know, mm -hmm. listen to, look at radio shows. And even TV shows, the moment, the show can be amazing, a movie can be amazing, but the moment the sound is shit, you don't want to watch it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. take, for example, those South African movies that you can <laughs> get. If they're, if, if they're taken in a cinema, if those South African movies were like put on a camcorder in yeah, a cinema, yeah, yeah. You, you would watch the movie. But you'd get put off by the sound yeah. because the sound isn't clear. Now, that's now, the, yeah, yeah, sorry. Th that's, that's the big thing. And uh, Total Biscuit, rest in peace, also said, and he had like a sweet, buttery voice mm. when he spoke, you mm -hmm. know. And he said, listen, if you're going to start out streaming or doing YouTube podcasts or YouTube mo stuff where your face isn't shown, yeah. you need sound. You need a good mic, So I yeah. always try and get my sound sorted yeah, yeah. before I focus on the camera. That's why yeah. my camera workings are shit. Yeah, yeah. I need a green screen <coughs> to play. <coughs> no, I need a green screen. I need a proper green screen. I'm actually looking into getting me one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I'm, because my visuals, I'd rather have people play other games mm. and listen to me in the background. Yeah. Sorry. Then <laughs> bless you. Sorry. <laughs> bless you, Mr. Hay Fever man. I'm just scared of uh, muted it pauses again like the other time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um so yeah, I'd rather have people lurk and listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, they're that, naughty in the chat. So if you sound like <laughs> that, <laughs> you shouldn't be a streamer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I agree with you, dude. That's that's the other the other part of the two points that are the most important to me is visuals and sound. Because mm. based on personal taste, I cannot watch something if it's bad quality visually yeah. or. Audible. Audibly. Audibly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I cannot. That's that's based on personal opinion. It's annoying to me, right? It's it annoys me if I look at something. For example, now you playing a game on Twitch and the and this is only this is only uh gameplay orientated. So your game mm. is pixely. Then I'm like, what oh, fuck man, I can't watch this. You get I wanna see yeah, yeah. what are, what are you seeing? I wanna see that. Um mm. and the reason why I say video and audio is because I watch streams for the people, right? And that's just yeah. my personal opinion. I go onto Twitch and I check, oh, okay, sweet. Mr. Mr. Zephyr's here. He's got his beautifully love funnies or whatever. And this is what makes him special. So I like that. I like to, mm. to listen to someone with a relaxing voice. And a lot of my viewers on YouTube said like they like your voice on the podcast. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. What's Thank wrong you. with my voice? <laughs> anyway. Like, but, uh, I've got a face for radio, okay? Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I've got a face for radio. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so the, the thing is, to me, it's super important that I, wanna, mm. I want to see the person. I want to hear him well. That's, that's personal. Based on personal taste, that's what I say when it comes to streaming. There's a lot of other things that go, that go, that needs to happen. But yeah. To me personally, I would say like, if we now, if you come to me, what what should I do? If someone comes to me asking me what should they do, I would say focus on your video and your audio. Where you will give mm. them other tips. That's just my personal opinion because that's how yeah. I feel about I, it. I, yeah. like the the like if you've only got budget for one, I'd yeah. say focus on audio. I'd agree. I'd one hundred percent agree. Focus with you. on audio. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Even yeah. if you don't have a video, if you sound good and you have a good voice, there's this guy on uh, Facebook. I think I've told you about the first podcast we talked about him. Was mm. uh, Rockland USA? He streams um, Euro Truck Simulator, dude. Yeah, yeah. Do yourself a favor after this, after this, after we recorded this, go and watch Rockland USA, dude. That guy's voice, his camera, fuck, it's got. It looks like he put a, you know that laminating paper, but like an orange one. It looks like he put yeah. that over his camera because he's fucking orange all over. Something yeah, is yeah. not lecker there with his camera. <laughs> but yeah. his voice, dude, I could listen to him for mm. hours. So I agree 100% with you, dude. If you if you only yeah. have budget for one, buy the mic. Buy the mic. Buy the mic, yeah. Definitely. No, I agree. But then again, we come back to NVIDIA Broadcast. Mm. Their noise cancellation technology. Yeah. Right? Mm. Their noise cancellation technology is so good on their mics that um, if I were to do this, they would cancel it out. Really, dude? You can't hear that. I literally did a test one day where I took two Coke bottles with that mic sensor, with the a noise cancellation. I sat here and I banged them against each other mm -hmm. and it didn't pick up. Jeez, it dude. only picked them up. I was banging them and while talking, it would pick up the banging. While I was talking, it would take the banging as ah, part of my voice. I get voice. what you're saying. I get what and you're saying. At, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say this was me, but I know <clears throat> out of some form of, it's not experience, um, but most farts are also cancelled <laughs> by that mic. Most farts. I didn't say it's I farted. Him. <laughs> I, know, I know that most farts get cancelled out by that mic. Yeah. Jeez. And it's like my phone would ring no one Mike it. wouldn't pick it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. NVIDIA broadcast. That's so that's the cheaper cool, option. Man. Buy yourself a freaking card, an NVIDIA graphics card that can handle that. Uh, it's Top one card. of the RTX cards, yeah, cards yeah. basically, yeah, yeah. that NVIDIA broadcast can work on. And uh, you're sorted basically for your video and and your for your green screen and your sound. Jeez, dude. Um, that's going to be a massive have, saving if you think about it. It's it's going to be a massive saving. The only drawbacks is the sound takes a while to pick up. Yeah. So it's it. Uh, when I say a while, I'm talking about 0.3 milliseconds. You oh, know? okay. Okay. So if you if you 
if your voice has a tendency to go softer at the end yeah, of a yeah, sentence yeah. or at the end of the word, yeah. your words will get cut out by NVIDIA broadcast. Oh, but you can sense. you can change adjust the strength at which it uh, cuts gotta... out the audio. So you just like find the sweet spot. My problem was I had audio settings on OBS and NVIDIA broadcast. Ah, okay. Ninety percent of my words cut out about halfway. halfway I'm like, why? Me. Why? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you got to change the way you talk, man. You just got to like, change the way you talk. How man. are you? Yeah. <laughs> just go louder instead of how yeah. are you? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Dude. Um, the second and the next bit of streaming equipment that a lot of people, especially in the beginning, a lot of South African streamers did this, dude. Mm -hmm. They had one screen, one monitor. Mm -hmm. And they had to alt tab to see their chat. Because remember back in back I back when I <laughs> Yeah, back when I started streaming, you know, internet wasn't good enough on the phones to have the chat running. Yeah, yeah. And well, when I came back to South Africa. So you would sit there and be in chat and talk to this guy, and it'll take him twenty minutes to respond. Yeah. That is the problem. If you wanna if you wanna start out streaming, I'd suggest at least a second monitor. Yeah. So man. that you can see your chat when it happens mm, mm, mm. um because the alt tabbing thing wrecks the game like yeah. after a while obs goes i don't know what to capture anymore exactly. or the game the goes i'm capturing. not working yeah so I to, um uh, i have to 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 agree with zephyr there i i also think it's super important to have a second monitor um not only for chats on my side i also like to monitor my stream while i play so i'll leave my mm -hmm. obs there just to see everything's working fine and like all the gauges are picking yeah. up and we are on the right cut scene or on the right scene or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well as the chats. But, like, again, I think you'd agree with me, Zephyr. If you're on a budget, it does work. It does look a little bit unprofessional. But nowadays, if you have a good line, it does work to read the chats. It does work. Phone. If you have a good yeah. Wi-Fi connection, you just put it underneath the screen. Yeah. And you just look yeah. down and talk to them. Yeah. And, this is um, also something... Sorry, uh, Zephyr, that I'm, that I'm interrupting you. This is something that I forgot. I am... No, I'm not going to link it in the description. You can go and Google it because I don't want to give you software that doesn't work. But there's actually mm -hmm. software you can use your phone as a webcam, which is super, super cool, dude. When I yeah. started, I, dude, I fucking, the other day I did it on my stream. Not when I started out, like maybe a few streams in. I pop in a little uh, camera thing on the overlay that I designed when I go on a smoke break. And if I could take the viewers with me, dude, <laughs> I show them my house, I show them my car. So, because it's a Wi-Fi cam, it connects wirelessly to your OBS mm -hmm. and to your to your Wi-Fi connection, and I mean, you can walk around your house with your webcam, basically. And my viewers walked with me when I went for a smoke, dude, and they found that super cool. They were like, "What? How did you do that?" So that's also an option for you to get a we free. We need to talk to get a free webcam. We need webcam, to talk then, yeah. yeah. The we only need to talk thing after is, this. you cannot, you do not get. I love my dog. You don't get yeah. audio. You don't get audio. So you need to pay to get audio. But, I mean, that's not the end of the world, dude. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just buy yourself the boya with a 70-meter cable and you use this and then you can And you plug it in like, hello. Exactly, yeah. dude. So it's really, that's, that's really cool, dude. That's something that I would suggest to someone that, you know, I don't have money, but I want to start streaming. Man, we all have a phone, dude. And that software, mm. the, there is a free version of it. It does have a watermark there, but... You know, there's ways around that as well. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, the, so the software is free to use and you can you can take your viewers for a walk, dude. You can like go around nice. your house. You, you cannot talk to them though, but I mean, you can always mm -hmm. type the chats. That's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. That's cool, yeah. I'm completely and about that. Yeah, that's about it for streaming related equipment. Yeah, man. Um, a lot of people are like Stream Deck. I'm like, you know what? You can use your phone as well for a Stream Deck. Yeah, dude, I use my numpad. I use my yeah. numpad. You can use your numpad. Mm. Um, Stream Deck, like I'd say, first of all, buy within your budget. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And if you just start out streaming, don't overspend. Mm. Unless you've got a job that pays you. Unless you've got a job that after you've paid everything, food, rent, house, car, whatever, you've got about 30,000 Rand or $3,000 left, yeah, then yeah. spend. Because then yeah. it's money you can throw away. Yeah. The thing is, Easy. I have to say, like, from my side, Zephyr is like, the first, just work with what you have and see if you like it, dude. Because you're going to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of rands. And if you're not getting 10, 
20, 30 viewers, you're going to be like, ah, this is not for me. And then you're going to sit with yeah. a shitload of equipment that you're going to end up selling to guys like us mm, for, mm. for a little bit of money. Yeah, just, <laughs> just buy within your budget yeah. and have a thing of like, if I reach X constant viewers, I'm going to buy this for I'm myself. Gonna, yeah, set and if, if I get yourself. the money from the stream, obviously, yeah, or dude, if I idea. save up enough money, I will buy this for myself. Um, stream Dex, Zephyr there, guys. Yeah, Stream Dex is just a quality of life thing. Mm. Think of it like it's literally. I used to use my mouse to switch yeah. with, between scenes. Yeah, yeah. You know, M-Tech but I got so I got yeah. so I got so well I got so good at it yeah, that yeah. I would look at the game or the camera was up there, so I would talk to people, yeah. and in my peripheral vision. I'd be like, I'd, 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 I'd blink, look over, and look back at the camera. I can't yeah. do it now. It's like, I'd blink, I'd do this. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if you guys yeah, can yeah. notice. I'd, I'd just look at it, blink, and look Quickly, back at the camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I click on the scene change, yeah, you yeah. know? Or I, I click on the camera camera yeah. disappearance thing. Yeah. Now the Stream Deck is a quality of life thing. I can't see myself working without one anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. exactly the same thing with monitors. First hmm. time you get two monitors... Like, you don't want to go I, back to one. How did I work yeah. without this? Yeah, no, I agree, dude. I'm, I'm sitting on three, and I'm already three. looking at. I'm sitting on three. Yeah, an old television flat screen. Yeah, yeah. A newer flat screen, and then one of my. I, I started with two, and this was one of the first two oh, that cool, I bought. Man. Cool. And I'm already looking into getting three more. <laughs> what am I gonna do on the others? I don't know, but I want three <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah, man. Just run shit, minesweeper, solitaire. <laughs> Just random yeah. shit. Dude, what else literally, can I open? <laughs> literally one monitor for Twitter to yeah, see Twitter yeah. updates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but obviously, once I go for three more monitors, I'm gonna have a streaming PC. Oh, and oh. that's another thing. You don't need a streaming PC. Yeah, man. You that's, don't that's need a true. streaming PC. That's true. That's true. You need one computer, and if you've got, if you go AMD Ryzen, mm. even better mm, 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 for streaming. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. I, I, uh, Mtech did like when we when they just started out. They literally just started out. Um, they also wanted to to give me a stream deck, and they said, no, we're gonna still give you a stream deck. Just give time the business to take off and whatever. And I came to a to like a time where I just felt like, no, man, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to allow the guys to give me something that I don't really need at this stage, right? Mm, so mm. I don't I don't mind like no, I'd rather keep the the stream deck for now because I'm coming the what I'm make using it, make now a deal works with perfectly, them. dude. Make it make a deal with them. Mm. Tell them, listen, and that'll force you to improve as well. Yeah, yeah. Not that I'm saying you're shit currently, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. the next step. Yeah, yeah. Tell them, listen, once I hit X amount of viewers for five streams. Yeah. We, we can talk, talk about, about the stream yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. because that means that means there's more viewers on your stream. You need yeah. to start looking. But when I say X amount, don't go five or ten. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying once you hit about 30, 30 uh, 45 yeah. ish. No, true, you know? true, true. And the majority of them are South Africans. Yeah. Perfect way perfect to advertise way. AmpTech. Definitely. You know. Yeah, definitely. And it's like, hey, I'm using AmpTech. Here's the things. And yeah. Um, but when you, not, don't go when I hit 7,000 followers, yeah. <laughs> Listen, followers, followers are amazing. It's a way for people to know when you stream, yeah, man. but when it comes to metrics, followers, mm. you can have 20,000 followers Dude. and still sit at three viewers per stream. You know, Dude, that is. That's a talk for another day, dude. Follow for follow groups, guys. Just fucking stay away. If someone says you post your link down below, I'm going to follow you, then you tell him to follow himself out the fucking door because it does yeah. not work, dude. You're going to end yeah. up having 100,000 followers on Twitch or subscribers on YouTube with one viewer, dude, and you, you're yeah. going to be that viewer. Stay away from that. Really. Yeah. Like, no, dude, it's... I love followers because that that um, that gives me an idea of where my viewership should be at. Yeah, you know, right now I'm still on track with followers to viewer ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you take the Twitch metric of followers to viewer ratio, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's literally take take do yourself a favor, right? Take the streamers that you like to watch, mm. check their follower amount, mm. and check their viewer amount. Yeah, yeah. And see how it correlates. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. usually like forty times more followers than actual viewers. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. saying forty. It's probably something like thirty times more. Yeah, yeah. So it's literally a case of just like check it out and 
Mm. You know, there's a percentage of followers are your viewers. Yeah, yeah. And I'm still in that bracket of like, no, the more cool, followers dude. I get, the more but viewers. But that's because you built it on the right foundation, right? Mm. You built it on the right, like, I, that's the one thing that I love because I also, I have to confess, and this is why I say this, I also did follow for follow when I just started out. Yeah. That's the fucking first thing you do. You're like, what? Yes, man, if, please, of course I'll follow you, man. You want everybody's support. So you're going to do that. So you're going to do that. Yeah. And that's, it's quite normal. But that's the one thing that I like about the change over to YouTube. Because what happened when I went to YouTube, I didn't have a lot of subs, dude. I had like uh, 22, 22. Yeah. And I've had six streams on YouTube. And now I'm currently on, I just reached 100 yesterday. And mm -hmm. last night I had 13 viewers for the entire stream, dude. Yeah. Get what I'm saying? So to me, that's, that ratio is much better. Because Twitch, I had 430 followers, but I get like, five to six to seven viewers sometimes 20 but only sometimes you get what dude, I'm saying. dude that is that is actually amazing listen i'm gonna put my gain down because it's raining okay no i hear that <laughs> i hear that it but should yeah, be man. better now but yeah, just... um just a quick thing the ratio for twitch viewers to, uh, versus followers mm. is one to three percent mm. So one to three percent of your followers mm. is your viewers yeah 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 if you've got more than that like if you're sitting on a thousand followers on Twitch, mm. you're looking at f between five to ten people v watching. Viewers, you. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that is normal mm. for Twitch. Mm. Mm. Like for you sitting on 400 followers on Twitch, you're looking at an average of four viewers that yeah, you yeah. need to have. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's only in the exceptional cases where people have more viewers and everything. Yeah. Like, for example, Ajenko, the other streamer that I mentioned. Um, he's sitting on, I think, 200 followers, maybe. Yeah. But he's averaging eight viewers. Oh, that's the cool, thing man. is, the thing is, he's probably going to average eight viewers until he reaches, let's say, about a thousand to a thousand five hundred followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. then he's going to pick up. Pick up, yeah. It's oh, it's cool. it's normal for Twitch. If it yeah. doesn't happen that way, and he gets more viewers on average, then mm. it's like cool. Mm. It's the exception that proves the rule. Yeah, definitely. And. Um, I don't know the same for YouTube, but I know Twitch's metrics are like usually it's 0.5 to about 3% of your followers are your viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's You're cool, looking man. to land on 1%. Mm. That's where you want to land on yeah, 1%. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing, yeah, the, the one thing that I actually saw a really small streamer, like I actually popped into his stream because he's always giving streaming advice. And then I actually went into his streams just to see like, because the, the advice that he gives was quite like informative. It makes you think about it. And then he told mm -hmm. that, again, personal opinion, personal opinion. He told his viewers or fellow streamers, put off your view count. Because the moment you have only two viewers, your energy drops. Put off your view count. Don't look at how many viewers. Just, just enjoy what you do. And I actually started yeah. doing that, dude. I don't look at the view count. I just put my chats on and I just chat, man. And Dude, then, then throughout the whole stream, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, with my with my partner push that I did in December, mm. I had to put on my viewer count. Yeah, Because yeah. I had to stop the stream if my viewer count dropped. dropped yeah, yeah. That's understandable. A threshold, That's understandable. Which is bullshit. Which is bullshit. Yeah. You know? And um, that was the st most stressful month for me on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with regards to viewers. Because I constantly had to check that out. To check that, yeah. And... It was literally a case of like, I'd look over to chat, see the number, go continue and still be happy. Luckily, I've been doing it long enough that I can um, fake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fake my like, I'll be disappointed, but I can f not fake happiness, but I can like fake not being disappointed. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And um, <clears throat> that's one of the things I'm not looking forward to. For my next partnership push, I'll have to activate that number that again. Number I'm not again. looking forward to... It's not a nice thing to do, right? It's it's, it's not. Because you look it's at not. it, sometimes, like you say, you've now mastered the art of of it's affecting you, but you're not showing it for that matter, yeah. right? If, if I'm yeah, saying that yeah. correctly. And the thing is, like, there's so many people that you go onto their channels because I like to go onto Twitch, scroll all the way to the bottom and make someone's day with a little donation yeah. or a few biddies. I like to do that, dude, because mm, I know mm. what it feels like. Not that I'm big now, but I know what it feels like to stream to one person all the time, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is you. And um, you get in there and they're literally just sitting there. They're playing their game and then you 
donate something and they're like oh thank you so much man da, 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 and how are you and they only start talking once they see you there and that's something that i don't agree with when dude I, it, I it's keep it's it's literally a case of like i said in that um in our first episode yeah you played games for zero people on your own yeah for so many years yeah now you're playing it and you want people to come and watch you mm. no 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 continue mm. on playing your games you just do you man and have fun yeah if people come in and and talk and like i said um have verbal diarrhea mm. whatever you're thinking say it out loud say it dude i do it so many times when i'm playing off stream mm. i'll be like okay cool so uh, i'm gonna do this and this and this and i do it in english i don't do it in afrikaans yeah, yeah, yeah so i'd literally sit and play a game and speak to myself now and like literally like 40 minutes of that i'm like shit i'm speaking to myself old Shh. habits old habits die hard dude. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's true man but um yeah i think so, we've reached uh, the end right yeah believe For it or now. not believe it or not yeah we haven't covered <clears throat> we haven't covered everything but mm. uh, we will get around yeah, to it we will we'll um, pop in again talk about it the, the the rest of the stuff were actually like extras we talked about yeah. the foundation about it yeah obviously you need yeah, some yeah. lights and you need some obviously you need a fucking game oh by the way mouse, if you just you uh, just a uh, just a uh, <laughs> just a quick thing if you get a green screen you will know what the term the phrase creative science means yeah. yeah you get a green screen you set up your first two lights and you're like why isn't this this green screen it looks on my side it looks slightly yellow yeah it's actually green yeah yeah. it's yeah. this bright green thing you know you have to fucking um, light that bitch up. you have to freaking <laughs> you have to start like playing around with lights and everything yeah. i know if i get a proper green screen like this is a lighter color green yeah, right yeah. if i can get your green screen that's gonna be fucking amazing yeah, yeah. um but uh yeah you're gonna learn what creative science is yeah, you'd man. like i i used to have two desk lamps mm. lighting my face up yeah right? yeah if one of them and it's one of those bendy heads yeah you know <laughs> i actually still if one of them one. <laughs> Yeah, if one of them bends slightly to the side, the green screen is fucked. Yeah. So you sit there and you play with them mm -hmm. until it's like, okay, the green screen looks okay. The yeah, yeah. If it disappears, it looks okay and everything. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it like that. And then sometimes you like clean your desk and you bump, bump one over and you look at it, <laughs> and your heart goes, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I make the green screen try and adjust it again, but then it's not the same lighting conditions yeah. as your normal streams. You're like. Why? True, man. Why? So, with a green screen comes a shitload of lights, dude. So you, yeah. you, when you buy a green screen, don't think, oh, I got a green screen. Boom. You're going to have to spend another like $200 on lights as well. But here's the thing. NVIDIA broadcasts, um, and we're not sponsored by them, by the way. Yeah, yeah. NVIDIA, sponsor me, please. Anyway, <laughs> um, with NVIDIA broadcasts um, uh, thing, the mm. background removal, the one night that I didn't stream, I moved my green screen away. So there were boxes behind me. The couch was behind me. Yeah, yeah. Like there was nothing but just a mess behind the green screen. Yeah. That didn't even show up, dude. Jeez, dude, that's Hell, crazy dude, cool. This, this is how cool that thing is. And this is the final parting thing. I had to, I wanted to show people what lights I were using. Mm. So I picked up the camera and I turned it around to face the light. And it didn't show the light. It showed like the green screen effect. Sure. I literally had to like this is the camera and yeah. if I moved my hand in front of it you could see the light because it's like movement yeah 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 so you could see the light between my fingers sure, dude, so literally crazy. I pointed it directly at a light and the camera was like no there's no light source there this is Jeez, normal dude. green screen you're looking at yeah that's insane I'm definitely gonna yeah. I don't think my card has that I have the 1660 super you can check Is you it? your card might just have it might, yeah. yeah just check the architecture requirements for the broadcast thing mm -hmm. i think like i think the 1060 is where it starts starts it? yeah there's like an uh, something uh chipset or something on the cards on itself the card. oh, I see. just make sure you can run it yeah, uh, yeah just google it and see if you can see, yeah, Dude, can just... you can literally then then you you can give that green screen to me <laughs> you know <laughs> anything is for sale at the right price <laughs> two rand two rand 
Two yeah. rand and a bunny chow. <laughs> one, rand, one rand fifty, we got a deal. <laughs> okay, sounds like uh, sounds like one to me. But anyway, we need to call it. You need to work. Yeah, I'm sweating in my freaking. It's technically winter in Bloom. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I've got my calmer Yossi. <laughs> and I'm sitting here going. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got to oh, wear shit. this because it's winter. This is stereotyping. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another episode. Uh, my name is ETG Gaming. You can find me on uh, YouTube under EG Gaming, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm ETG Gaming. You can still go and look for me on Twitch. I might pop up every now and then under Mr. Irrespective, which will soon also be changed to ETG Gaming. And uh, yeah, thank you for all your support. I stream on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 9 p.m. GMT plus two. Currently busy with Far Cry 3 series. And uh, yeah, thank, thanks. Just thank you to all of you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Over to you. Yeah. Hi. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you again for having me on this podcast, Mr. ATG. Well, you, you don't have a choice. <laughs> thank uh, you. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, my name is Zephyr Geek. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing good. Uh, I stream every day except usually Wednesdays. Uh, next week it's going to change again. So I stream Monday through to Friday, starting at seven or eight o'clock, uh, GMT plus two. Yeah, it's GMT plus two, GMT right? Plus yeah. Two, yeah. Um, or SAST, South African standard time. Mm. Um, next week I'm going to do some GTA RP. We're going to go back to satisfactory and, uh, later today, which by the time this video releases, you won't see it. But later today, we're going to do a Friday fun day, which is essentially, I start at five o'clock in the afternoon and I, for every $10 subs, bits or tips, subs, bits or tips, subs, subs, bits or tips, <laughs> the stream gets extended by 10 minutes. Jeez. No, 15 minutes by 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, because I've got a certain game, Weed Shop 3, I believe <laughs> that I'll actually complete the stream up until the end. Yeah, yeah. Unless someone goes in the end and is like, huh, he streamed for 10, he streamed for 12 hours. Let's add five more hours. Then I'm going to yeah. die, but I'll still do it. You know, I'm going to order some food. I'm going to be constantly eating through the night. You know, I'm going to yeah. keep the energy level stable. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what happens tonight. Uh, next week, we've got GTA RP, Satisfactory, probably some scavengers at some point, and mm -hmm. Deep Rock Galactic next week. Oh, awesome. uh, Twitch.tv slash Zaffa underscore geek or at or slash Zaffa geek with or without the underscore. That's where you'll find me. Awesome, man. Yeah, guys, so yet again, thank you for all your support. Really appreciate it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Pop that subscribe button, like button, Definitely. or unlike button. If you unlike it, at least tell us why. And we'll yeah. see you guys again next time. Thank you, Zephyr. Have a great day. Thank you to thank the you, viewers. Thank you, ATG. Cheerio, guys. See you guys next Bye. time. Cheers.